Eating better is easier with cool produce grown right here in Mzanzi. Just color your plate with two fruits and three veggies every day. Cool Uzogwala. These five South Africans are ready to show off their cooking skills to impress the judges and win big to become Zansi's next cooking star. Fresh produce grown right here in Zansi. Hi, we've got you. Eating better starts with cool five a day. Just add two fruits and three veggies to your daily meals. As we said to make eating better easier, color your plate with cool. Contestants, congratulations for being selected to compete on the show. Give yourselves a round of applause. I'm Nikona Makabani. I'm confident, so I'm willing to take risk. Watch out, I'm coming. My name is Belinda Bedek. Start down all my meerdere deelnemers. Um, may the best one win. My name is Yunika Bardinos. I'm going to throw together everything in one pot type of cook because I have to do the dishes afterwards. I'm Nadia van Hastien. I used to be a dancer. I'm always like dancing around on stage. So I'm hoping I can, while I'm cooking, maybe, you know, do a little steps behind <laughs> the oven and all that. It's all about bringing Shaw to the competition. I think that's the main thing. I hope I win. That is the main aim. This is your moment to shine. Your families, friends, and whole of South Africa are watching. Today, we're turning things around and we're going slightly sweet. So today's hero ingredient is something that I'm sure all of you have in your pantries and all of you have enjoyed after many a Sunday lunch. But to tell us more, let's meet this week's Five A Day Superstar. My name is Karishma Bazda and I'm an actress and presenter and model based in Cape Town. As an Indian person, our culture revolves around food a lot. So I've grown up with that. And that's carried on into my life now as a mom and as a wife. It's really hard for me to get in my five a day. So I have to be super prepared. When I'm running from audition to audition, I always like to have a really amazing smoothie with me. That's the easiest way. I just put in all my fruits and veggies and then blitz it up. And then I've got a perfect, healthy, balanced meal. Growing up, I've always known peaches as something that you put into a fruit salad or have as a little dessert with some ice cream. So today, I'm really interested to find out how the contestants are going to use peaches in new, interesting and innovative ways. Hello everyone, I am such a huge foodie, so I cannot wait to see what you guys present to us and taste what you guys present to us, so good luck. Thank you. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you. Okay guys, so by now you know that peaches are your main ingredient. So the challenge today is to make the peach the hero, but we don't want just another traditional dessert. Exactly. We don't want peaches and cream, but tungha, fruit salad and ice cream, custard and jelly. Mm -mm, something fresh and creative. So to get your creative juices flowing, we've prepared a dish using peaches more in an unconventional way. I present to you. Oh. These slow braised lamb ribs have been basted in a sweet and sticky sauce, infused with blended cool peach halves and Asian flavors. Served on the side are some sautéed greens and a spicy peach salsa. All those flavors come together so well, and that's what I love in addition. I think that's what I'm going to be looking yeah. for today is, you know, a lot of different flavors coming together. Remember to tick all those boxes. We're looking for balance, color, and flavor. Monate. If monate mpulae was a fruit, these cool peaches would be it. Every peach is grown right here at home and handpicked at prime. You know, they're famous as a dessert, but they're great to snack on at any time of the day. Our delicious cool peaches are grown by local farmers in the beautiful Western Cape. You'll each have one hour to color those plates. And remember, five a day refers to the fact that you need two fruits and three veggies across the day. You don't have to feed all of them in one dish. Now here's the cash. Behind me is a fully stocked pantry with all the fresh ingredients from beautiful veggies, dairy, meats and herbs to all the pantry staples you can dream of. You'll have 
one and a half minutes in the pantry to gather all your ingredients. You'll go in one at a time to adhere to social distancing. And once your time is up, the pantry will be off limits. Oh, Are you guys that. ready? Yes! yes. <laughs> Are you ready for your pantry dash? I'm ready as can be. And your time starts in three, two, one, go! I'm ex-air hostess. I was in the Middle East for about four years. I think my love for cooking came from traveling all over the world. My favorite dishes were obviously the Middle Eastern dishes itself. It's just always gone onto my palate very nicely. <laughs> Toen ik nog jong was, het elke recept uit elke boek uit geskeer en gehou. Maar soos ik ouder geworden het, het ik ach nee, wat te veel moeite om naar recepten te kijken. Ik proe tot hij recht proe. My style of cooking is very homely. Like, I get paid. Oma tele, hoe ben je alweer? Ja, niet die wekai, ja, niet die wekai. Dan moet hij me verplichten, ik ga zo vallen, without asking what did you put in there. He would just take a spoon and go on. Ten seconds left of the clock. Are you finding everything you need? And your time is done now. Well done. I was worried there for a minute. Contestants, you've gathered your ingredients. You've made your plans for your winning dish. The pantry is now off limits. But if you look over there, the cool oil will be available for you. You've got one hour. Mm, it's almost cooking time. Excited for you guys. Yes! Contestants, ready, steady, colour your plate. More colour on your plate means more wholesome benefits. So turn your meals into a balanced plate with cool five a day. Eat better and stand a chance to win 5,000 rand daily. Buy any three cool products, dial star 120 star 1987 hash or WhatsApp cool five a day to 072 741 5357 and follow the prompts to enter. Cool Uzul Gwal. Color your plates with tasty cool peaches that you can snack on any time of the day. Cool Uzul Ready, steady, color your plates. I'm making a open chicken curry peach sandwich with a salad on the side. The peach will definitely be inside the curry and in the salad because it is the star ingredient. To me, you eat with your eyes first. So for me, presentation says every single thing. Well, I see that you've made your eyelashes pop a little bit. You've got some <laughs> mascara I detect. For me, it's more about based on if, I can, if I'm beautiful from the inside, I can look beautiful from the outside as well. Lovely. And now, are you putting some of that same creativity definitely, into your dish? Definitely. <laughs> Hope you're going to make sure that those peaches are going to pop in this dish. You can count me in on that. Lovely. I can't wait to taste. It smells good here on your side. I'm smelling a bit I'm of uh, the beginnings of, good. you know, ginger, onion, tomato, garlic. What? And I see some spices there. Yep. You're yep. You're planning what? A nice curry. I'm making a nice chicken curry. Um, just the nice comfort food, as one would put it. But it's a little bit of a secret. You're going to have to wait and see till later. Okay. I'm looking forward to seeing that. <laughs> I'm not very good at presentation, but I love food that tastes good. So my secret weapon is the peaches. I will be blending it down. Don't tell the rest of the contestants. Game on, guys. Oh, I'm very nervous. I've never cooked with peaches before. Do you mean okay? I can't eat it. I'm not eating it. Okay, it's a grand chicken. Grand chicken. Do you want to eat it? Yes. Oh, I can't eat it. Yes, I can't eat it. Oh, that's nice. Immediately, I'm going to eat the ingredients. It's a good man. I'm going to eat it. Oh, I'm going to eat it. I'm going to eat it. Then I'm going to eat it. What do you have in there? Ki salatia gono ki kopan seka apole. As the main ingredient is peaches, the peaches. Oh, there are peaches there. Yeah, Which ones did you use? The slice. Okay, one. we can't wait to taste this. Looks um, inviting. Just make sure that your chicken is cooked all the way through. Contestants, you've got half an hour left to cook. Time's running out fast. Se optrek 
Oh, is dit daar, ja? Ja. My pasta is gekook. My ma het altyd gemaakt, een koringsraai met perskis en kerry en toe. Ok, adapt het nou maar met bykie pasta en probeer die kleure daar aanbring. En nou hoop maar net al die geure gaan werk. En ek sien jy het twee verskillende soorte van die perskis gekies. Ja. Maak net seker dat het, jy weet, die geur van die perske natuurlijk wil ons het, dat moet mooi kan uitstaan uit al die ander bestanddele in die gerecht. Yes, ja. I was struggling there with it. My meat has so much, and I'm panicking. Oh, I do. If it was wrong, back so it's sabi. More one house so clean in a man. Oh, just I can't take um. Fry a water, water get in a cup ovening, and just get bully lamb cheese or cow fella. Can't be bad, bad, bad. Nadia, lovely. I see you're opening some peaches there. That's yes. delicious. Um, what are you making for today? I see a lot of Thai flavors. A Asian-inspired Thai curry, but then without using any sugar, using the peach syrup as the element of sugar, and then incorporating the peaches with the chicken. So it kind of cooks into the chicken. That's smart, using that <laughs> as a reputation for the sugar. I love that. Well, I can smell all those delicious aromas, so I can't wait to try that a bit later. Good luck. I never cook with peaches. <laughs> it's completely something that's going to be new to me, but let's hope I make it work. Contestants, you have 20 minutes left. So wh wh why are you adding that now? Because I, nice. uh, 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 when I had my turn at the pantry, mm. uh, didn't take my coconut milk. That is supposed to be the main ingredient to your dish and you just managed to forget. And I use mayo. You're still cooking it, eh? Maybe add some later on as well, okay. instead of now. Perfect. Okay? Less than 10 minutes, guys. Think about how you're going to plate and colour your dishes. Ruben, so it's interesting to see that we've got three curries going on here. We've got a curry sandwich, a Thai curry, and then um, a Malay curry. It's something that they may be used to, uh, they, and they know exactly how to make it. And you can get quite a lot of flavour in there if you do it, so I'm not surprised by that. And I'm not complaining. Yeah, we're not complaining. <laughs> I'm using the um, red cabbage as a bowl for my little salsa salad that I made with the curry, just to bring some extra colour to the plate that there is. Contestants, you have one minute remaining. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Final touches need to be added now. So, peaches is the star of the dish today. It is look lick lacking. The only thing that can go wrong at this point of time would definitely be taste. Five, Five four, four, three, two, two one. one. Everybody step away. The best way to colour your plate is to enjoy three vegetables daily. Eating better is so much easier with Ku Uzo Dwala. Well, today is about peaches and we said to our contestants, we want to see some creativity, not your regular boring dessert. And surprisingly enough, we didn't get one dessert being made. There's a lot of curries going along, which I think makes sense. We have seen a lot of uh, good ideas coming from that side and a lot of imaginative ideas. The ideas are good, I hope the execution is good. I'm excited to taste. Oh, yes. <laughs> Hello, Charles. Hello, Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Like, there's a lot going through your mind. But the main question is, will it make the final cut? I've created a toasted bread with a peach curry with a fresh salad on the side. In the curry, I added some mushrooms. I have your cashew nuts in there. And with the quite similarities to the curry, I kind of brought into the salad as well, like the peaches as well, because it is after all the star ingredient. Thank, Thank you, Shal. Thank you, Thanks, Shal. I would have loved to hear, this looks divine, or this looks delicious. But it's fine. The food is delicious anyways. So I do like those flavours coming through in there. It's not a bad curry for me. There's magic there. There's great effort. Lovely spiciness to it. Yeah. Mm. Nice bites. Yeah. I'm missing more of the peach maybe in the salsa. I think there was an mm. opportunity to yeah. add more. And that salad add a lot of lightness to this dish, which is really great. And I mean, colour is prominent there as well. Absolutely. I agree. Yeah. Hey, Nadia. Hi, guys. Good in you. Here you are. 
it is very scary knowing that like Ruben's there to taste my food that I cook. I usually only cook for my mom and my dad and my sister. I made a Thai red curry infused with the peaches into the chicken with the syrup of the peaches. I also made a like a salsa salad on the side, also with the peaches in with the syrup as well. Nadia, have you been to Thailand? I have. I used to be an air hostess, so we used to fly all around, and Thailand was one of my favorite destinations. Nice, <laughs> nice. I'm hoping that they're saying they love it, that it tastes really nice, and no one's getting a bit of a jelly boom. <laughs> Nadia brought it home. I think the salsa even has a bit of spiciness mm. in it. I love that. Mm. It looked beautiful when it was presented to us, and I was just saying, I hope it tastes as good as it looks, and definitely it ticks mm. that box. Delivered. Yeah, I think filled with flavors, you know, but your typical Thai flavors, isn't it? She nailed it, mm. absolutely. Thank you, darling. Did I do enough? Are they going to enjoy the smell? And I've got all my fingers, toes and everything crossed. I've made you a nice delectable chicken curry with a twist. What's oh, the twist? Yeah. The one was I added some mayonnaise in, mm. just to give it that creamy texture. And then two was when I took the peach slices and I actually blended them in the blender and I added that to my curry paste. That's great. Sir. Looking forward to tasting that. Wow. Look. If I don't win the ultimate competition, at the end of the day, I am a winner. I've made it this far and I've enjoyed it thoroughly and fully. The flavors really goes, goes well together. I like the fact that the peach was kind of in there, but she left it whole. So you can really cut through it and sort of have it with the chicken and all the other ele elements, the rice and the salsa. That half peach worked for me as well. That is a clever use of the hero ingredient. This mayonnaise and with the gherkins kind of reminded me of a sauce gabriche. It's gherkins, normally onions, served with like salted meats. So an interesting addition to to sort of a curry. Yes. Yeah. Um, gabriche. Yeah. <laughs> I have to say it's a bit under seasoned for me. <laughs> and the potatoes needed a little bit more cooking. I just think there was just great, great effort on that plate. Yeah. I, agree. I really do. Hello, Belinda. And here is this what I can do. I can't think of what I can do. I made a chicken and peach pasta salad with a bit of curry in there. And I blended some peaches and mixed it with the mayo for the sauce. And I tried to make it as colorful as possible. Belinda, I believe you love making pasta for your husband. Yes, Would he husband be proud will. of this dish? I think so. He's not very difficult to please. I don't know if I it. Seasoning, bland, mm. muted, very colorful. Yeah, it looks great, but it doesn't deliver on mm -mm. that flavor punch that mm -mm. I need. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yeah? It's hit the brief in terms of using peaches. There's just quite a few things there that's not working in terms of a cohesiveness, in terms of taste. I think the whole wheat pasta was the wrong choice. You see, I don't agree there. I, I think the whole wheat pasta could have added more flavor to it, don't you think? If, if she did something if, different. If it was, and I think yeah. even mm. there with the saltiness, in the, you need some salt in the water In the too. water, yeah. that's it, exactly. For me, I'm also missing the clever use of veggies and, and fruits in there. It's always the timing thing, you know, once you're here in this kitchen, if you don't have a clear idea, this is exactly what can happen. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, one is. I'm happy. <laughs> I'm very nervous for the sudden to taste my dish. Then, as soon as I got close, I was very comfortable. 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 I had so much fun today. Just on the bone, it's still, it's still red and you can see the texture of the meat. She just needed a few more minutes to make sure that it's fully cooked. I was really worried about her because she started, you know, trying to get that crisp in the air fry, which I understand because it is a great tool to get that crisp, but she probably should have just started, you know, with the oven, which I think she's a bit more familiar with. What I like though is the beetroot uh, salad with the apple and peach there. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's bringing nice uh, acidity and sweetness into mm. the dish. But I also think, you know, just the effort of not hoeing everything on one plate, there was thought there. Yeah, such a shame I was looking for that crunchy chicken.
winning this competition will mean a lot as my daughter is starting school next year and I'll start saving. Winning this competition will be the ultimate for me. Food is my passion. Dit zal mijn alle eer wees, want die andere deelnemers tussen het baie mooi en lekker vir my. Oh my god, it would be great. It would actually just make me so much more confident in myself as going out there and doing something that you've never done before. Congratulations guys, you really did well. I mean for us it was really tough to make a decision today, so give yourselves a warm round of applause. Shal, that chicken curry made the pots. I mean, you added your own flavor in there. However, that salad could have done with a little bit of the hero ingredient. Nadia, we absolutely loved your Thai curry. It was beautiful in all of its flavors that you brought together so wonderfully on the plate. But if there's anything I could add is that so salsa for me was a little bit lacking. It could have had more salt in it, maybe more of the lime juice. And I think if you wanted to add something like that on the plate, it needed to really pack a punch, which it didn't, unfortunately. Unika, I really enjoyed all those ingredients that you had on your workbench. Uh, the potatoes slightly hard and just a bit of salt. It just lacked that. Thank you, Chef. Belinda, your salad was generous on the portion. But the question is, was it generous on flavor and fafidei? your beetroot with a mix of the peach, our hero, and that apple, just that crunchiness, that really worked. But Mwanaka, your chicken let you down. You did your best. <laughs> Guys, it's been a difficult one, and it is such a close, close tie. Tonight, it's Battle of the Curries, and uh, we had to narrow it down to two. Nadia and Unika. The winner in the Battle of the Curries tonight <laughs> is... Drum roll, please. Yeah. <laughs> you have won a hamper with more than 4,000 Rand, including Le Creuset kitchenware, cool products, and a new bullet. Plus, you have colored your plate to the finale. Yep. <laughs> Congratulations. Cannot believe it. Just something that I wanted to do, never done before on my bucket list, and I won. So when it comes to the finale, I'm definitely going to be practicing my heart off. Next time on Colour Your Plates with Koo, five brand new and excited contestants battle it out to earn a spot in the grand finale. And joining the judging panel is one of the country's best beloved personalities, Lassizwe Dambuza. The best way to colour your plate is to enjoy three vegetables daily. Eating better is so much easier with Koo Uzo Dwala. <laughs>